Europe and the US have had common goals for decades, but that could now change. French President Emmanuel Macron gave the strongest reaction so far from a European leader to Trump's victory, saying it was time for Europe to own its destiny. C'est la seule question qui nous est posée. Et moi je pense que c'est notre priorité. The question for us is are we prepared to defend European interests? This must be a priority. This is a historic moment for us Europeans. Ukraine was high on the agenda. The European political community was established in 2022 to contain the repercussions from the war and prevent an outright Russian victory. But not everyone agrees. This is the man who strongly believes the EU was wrong and should reconsider its position on Ukraine. Where we are at this moment is that there is no communication. And the first precondition of every peace is communication. And the precondition of communication is the ceasefire. The EU and NATO have since ensured a flow of weapons and cash, despite objections from leaders like Hungary's Viktor Orban, who insists a deal with Putin is the only way out of the conflict. What we see more and more is that North Korea, Iran, uh, China and of course Russia are working together. Um, working together against Ukraine, but at the same time Russia has to pay for this. The NATO chief is hoping his long relationship with Trump could stop the president-elect from pulling out from the alliance. For Macron, the answer lies in boosting the European defense industry. For others, the UK's push to reset relations with Europe could send a strong message to Russia that Ukraine won't be abandoned. This is a delicate moment for Ukraine. EU and NATO allies stress they're going to take on a bigger role in supplying Kiev with weapons to hold back Russia's advance. But that might change if Trump decides to pull the plug on military aid. And this is where many leaders here in Budapest are concerned. They fear a Trump-Putin deal could come at a huge price for Ukraine and further undermine Europe's future. Hashim al Al Jazeera, Budapest. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.